You don't know what Earth is. Ivo, I don't know how many people that come to us for help who refuse to help themselves. We get this all the time. If you have a problem, like I did with the Archons, you can't just sit back and wait until things change. That's not life. Life is about finding out what you can do to help yourself to stop your problem. That includes people who are being taken, abductees, who are being taken against their will. Women that are alien breeders, I've met them as well. Maybe you have a contract that allows them access to your physical body, but you still don't want this to happen. There are things you can do that can help yourself. Is your home a haven for ghosts and demons? Are you just going to sit there and put up with it or are you going to find ways to get these things out of your life? Are you just going to sit there and continue to allow yourself to just be used against your will? Really? The first thing I will tell you to do is to read my book, Stop Being a Victim. Because everything you say and do tells others that they can take advantage of you. And believe me, there are many people on this world who are more than happy to do so. That's how I stopped being taken advantage of. That's how I stopped living a living hell. That's how I stopped seeing the cart before the horse and started seeing the horse pulling the cart. That's how I smartened the hell up. When you read this book, you will become more empowered at the mental and emotional level, that way you fight mind control more effectively. Mind control is also part of being abducted. The last thing you should do when they come is be scared and that takes mental strength. If you're being attacked by archons, visited by greys, your home is demonized by horrible spirits and ghosts, you still can help yourself. You're not a victim of this. Not even if you have a contract. If you think that the way I tell you to go about regaining your power is ineffective, have you tried it? When I went to the 12 steps and got sober, it initiated a kundalini awakening so bad I couldn't work and spent 5 years on the couch crying my eyes out. But it stopped. That's how powerful sitting in codependence anonymous meetings were. They brought my soul to the fore in my life. Had I not done them, I wouldn't be doing this now, I'm absolutely convinced of that. If you're scared of going through pain, is what you're enduring now any better? Is seeing creepy smelly greys, is being taken from your bed and floated into a spaceship your idea of normal? Do you really enjoy living knowing that you have more hybrid children out there that you don't even know and can never nurture because they're being kept from you, how does that sit with you? If I had all these children and I couldn't know them, I'd be on that damned spaceship demanding to be able to take them back with me. I'd make such a stink, they'd never take me again. If those are my children, I want to parent them. You people don't know your rights, holy cow. Did you think if you're being taken by ETS that the solution would be easy? That it wouldn't be your life's work just to stop it? Ivo, my love, as you are aware, and I will explain why your entire world is taught to be a victim. You are all on the victim triangle, the perpetrators being the hidden extraterrestrials. Many of you put benevolent extraterrestrials in the position of your rescuer, and so you seek out Sharon because of her contact with us. We are not only not your rescuers, we are not on the victim triangle and we do not think the way you do when you think like a victim. We are self-governing, responsible, benevolent beings of service. Our expectation of another person is not to fit them onto the victim triangle somewhere, our expectation is that they will be willing to serve others, but be powerful enough to behave responsibly. We are one whole person, complete within themselves, acting with another whole person, complete within themselves. Then you have the beings that have overtaken Earth. They are on the victim triangle. They are codependent, and have taught you to be codependent as well. They are the main power holders in the power over others system you all are part of, and in doing so, they are going mad. Yes, they are going crazy. You see this now as they lose power. Me, I saw it in my mother when I challenged her. That's when she showed me how weak and powerless she really was. Ivo, yes. And you see this now. What they are attempting to do to you is looking more psychotic every day. That is the nature of those who are feeble of mind. Fortunately for you, you still have your human half. This allows you to walk away from the psychotic victim triangle, and to rescue yourself. We cannot do it for you, as we are not rescuers. That concept is beyond us. We only understand this level of powerlessness because we have come to understand what they did to you. Me, I won't deal with victims who are complacent and happy with their victimhood. Unless a person wants to change, I won't help them. And I will test you to see if you are willing to do the work. So far, I haven't found anyone who was willing to learn how to stand up to these interlopers and to kick them to the curb, so I suspect there is mind control going on as well. 
When I became aware the Archons were invading my home every night, do you think I just stood there and took it? Was I afraid of them? No I wasn't. I have a whole page written about it on my website, which I might remind you, I've created as a resource for people with problems like these and more. When it became clear that Archons were not planning on leaving any time soon, did I just cave and admit defeat? No, of course not. I found ways to stop them from running amok in my house and tagging and implanting my light body. They are trying to bring us down especially now because the timelines are splitting and they know when we go, their food source is gone too. They have worked through the years on planet earth to be able to exploit us more and more as time goes on. This has led to abductions, pedogate, a large system of underground bases where humans are taken, bred, and live and die there, never seeing the light of day. These humans are used to experiment on, they are food for many species of beings who live under the ground including the huge chimera spiders and they are slave labor. And when you don't say, no, you are enabling all of this. Yes, this has to do with all of us, but those people who are in compromised positions of breeding, being abducted and used for experimentation by these beings are in the front line positions. You need to stop what's going on with them because nobody is going to do it for you. It's up to you. That's why you're in that position right now. You chose it before you were born. I don't envy you and I've tried to help some people, but I can't help you if you won't take the steps you need to. As for trying to see the bright side and to understand whether there's any good in what you're doing, yes there are some new races that have our DNA thanks to abductees and these races can carry on again. But let me ask you this, did they ask you if they could use your body or did they just take it? Is Plant Earth really called Terra to them or is it Planet Exploit? Because they all seem to come here to help themselves and we're the last ones to know about it, aren't we? These things are going to be stopped, and I expect in future new breeding plans may be created as bargains between the people of Earth and other races, but I don't expect that this will happen before the people of Earth reach their full potential as humans. You have to understand now, that we, as the beings we are now, are part reptilian part human humanoids who have been disempowered down to two strands of DNA. That's like asking a little child if you can take his piggy bank, for God's sake. The kid might even give it to you, but that's not the point. Until we are fully empowered and fully responsible, and what's more until we fully realize the impact our agreeing to this will have on the rest of the galaxy slash universe slash multiverse, we really shouldn't be saying yes, should we? We are not making an educated decision, for starters, and that's if they even allowed us to. Did you know that some of the breeder's children have been mixed with artificial intelligence to create armies to fight wars for draconians, archons, etc. out in the galaxy? Why did your soul allow this? Who knows? Maybe your soul didn't allow this and this whole concept of having contracts with negative ETS is all part of the baloney they have fed us. Maybe what they consider to be a contract is a little different than the pages long written agreement we use. Maybe their idea of a contract is as unspecific and as devious as showing us things they want to see manifest written into movies. If you have a contract with a species of negative alien, I suggest you'd better get a good lawyer because you're being deceived. Did you think about that? Maybe you don't have a real contract? Yes, your soul came to earth and allowed itself to be taken, but does your soul alone have the right to allow you to breed with evil races that only mean to harm the rest of this galaxy, and I might add our human cousins would be made victims of as well. Your soul doesn't have the authority to decide on things that will impact the rest of life in the galaxy so adversely. Listen on, Ivo has more to tell you. Do you have the right to make that decision for earth and for the rest of humanity in space? No? Then you are obliged to do whatever you can to stop it. Then maybe you'll get some help from benevolent extraterrestrial races. There are social implications by all of our behavior right now, that might well impact the rest of the galaxy. If you're being taken against your will, you are obliged to try to stop it. It may not be your fault, but it is your problem. Ivo, it is a problem for the rest of the galaxy, my love. Our DNA is in you and now it is in marauding artificially intelligent robots that invade peaceful benevolent worlds to try to enslave them. That DNA came from Earth. Earth is used as a resource by negative races who are seeking domination of the entire universe, and your good working skills as well as multifaceted DNA is something that they seek to exploit. I might add that the fact that you are easily mind controlled is another bonus for them. You do not realize this now but you will learn the truth of what Earth actually is, and how seemingly harmless abductions, underground time travel facilities, CERN technology, and underground robotics factories all come together under one plan. 
Do you realize that it is now possible to create a robot that looks and behaves exactly like a human, so much so that nobody can tell the difference? These people are sent out in time travel machines to exact points in time, just like in your Terminator movies, to eliminate certain people from the timelines not just for the threat they currently pose to the regime, but for future threats they may pose. Me, yes, like a John Connor. Ivo, yes, exactly. It is all one big production factory where your minds are used to create technology and your DNA is used to be infused in that technology. There are roving bands of, yes, we call them agents, but biological robots that need not carry weapons to kill, they are capable of killing with a thought because humans can kill with a thought, and they are running free in the galaxy. We have many reports of them because of course they have a particular energy signature, and the Federation is tasked with disarming them and removing them to a planet where they can do no harm. Me, yes. Well, they were working on all of that earlier. They taught the super soldiers to kill with a thought. Ivo, yes. These are your children, a mix of human DNA and robotics, and they are a nuisance out in the galaxy. Fortunately we can keep them from banding together, but they are capable of independent thought, it just happens to be of a lower frequency. This is just one of the problems caused by your being abducted and your DNA taken. Me, what about other ones? Ivo, they take DNA samples back in time and change bloodlines in the galaxy. We work hard at attempting to keep our DNA pure and free of the alterations that these negative ETS desire us to have. It is definitely a problem for us to have a race with superhuman qualities such as yourself in such a disempowered state. There has been discussion among races in the galaxy, benevolent races, that Earthlings should be eliminated in order to save the rest of the galaxy but Sananda would not hear of it. So for that reason, you are still alive. There has been talk of benevolent ET ships coming to rescue people on Earth in the event of an Armageddon, however this Armageddon event would be caused by the benevolent races out of self-preservation. Some Earthlings would be preserved for the sake of the species and allowed to breed again, but under our watchful eye and protection. Now the planet will ascend, the Armageddonists seem to be assured that there is still hope for you and they are not currently pressing the issue. They are watching closely the timelines and how this will play out in the next couple of months. The entire future of the galaxy depends on what happens on Earth in the next few months. The timeline of the Earthling would have been discontinued if in fact it was unanimously agreed that all life in the galaxy would be saved and that Earthlings would be incapable of ascension as they are. Me, wow. Nothing less than that. Ivo, of course, as many negative beings as possible on Earth are being eliminated in order to secure the safety of the galaxy. Some are still necessary as they provide inspiration for your ascension. Your planet is carefully guarded and monitored so that no negative beings can escape back to their home planets. They attempt to trick light workers into believing that the Federation is intent on working with them or their more benevolent cousins, however these statements should be taken very lightly as they are attempts at deception. We will not work with Draconians, Draconians resent humans and protect their own. For this reason, we do not work with them and do not trust them. Reptilians are not quite the same. We do work with them. Any draconian ship seen on Earth now will be fired upon. Carte Blanche. Me, what about the draconian ships that were seen over the White House recently? Ivo, we do have ambassadors that come to the planet but we do not work with them. They typically come as passive viewers. Me, there are stories of some of the DS getting leniency for talking to you. Ivo, we will not kill them, they can live out their lives in our off-planet jails. That is leniency for providing us with information. And oftentimes they continue to talk to us, so they can be provided with some pleasantries from time to time, but they are never allowed out. All earthlings will be asked at some point to stand up and take their power back. Those who do not, as you see now, will be allowed to continue on the artificial timelines which will eventually self-destruct. We will guard these timelines to ensure that no earthling will be allowed into the galaxy. The earthlings of higher dimensions who have ascended will be in contact with us. You have all been severely disempowered in order that what was once an Eden could be turned into a malevolent production factory, on the surface, in the air and underground. Measures have already been taken to stop this but generally people are still not aware of what Earth truly has turned into. It is not just about a malevolent state of control of the planet, or your minds and bodies, it is about the malevolence seeking control throughout the galaxy and then the universe. They created Earth to be their primary factory and use Earthlings as their workers. You may have had a clue about this listening to whistleblowers such as Emery Smith. Well, he is correct. 
the number of facilities underground are exceeded by the number of facilities above ground that produce malevolent machinery parts for these robot armies. It is grievous indeed. Me, thank you Ivo. People don't realize this but yes, this is a big production factory. It's not about reducing the number of people on this planet to 10% as much as it is having a place for their growing numbers of biobots to live. They want this earth for themselves. Their plan is to overtake the universe using earth as a home base. Ivo, it is. At this point in time, we can still work to quell their progress and we have. Their Achilles heel is money. They set the system up using money and this is where they will go down first. Me, thank you, Ivo. People need to know this. Ivo, I agree.